You wanted big builds? Well, you got it. Minecraft with Daedalus 822. Build big or go home. Hey guys, this is episode 112 of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be building a dock for the base. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a little while, so it would be nice to have some sort of underwater docking system where we could... Uh, uh, dock the boats and shoot out up to the top of the water and yeah I've got a really simple docking idea inside my heads now we're going to try obviously build it in this episode but yeah I'm not sure how far we're going to get um anyway we should um yeah we should just jump right into it and fire out I'm still getting used to this speed um so let's um let's grab some glass because I want to mark out I've got a rough idea where I want to build this underwater dock it's going to be like a miniature dome, little baby dome, and it's going to have like one side cut out of it, so where the boats launch out, and they're going to be like submarines, and um, then up the top, we're going to have like uh, some piston, hidden pistons, I think, to open up like a f the floor and let the boat flow down. Um, yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a rough idea. I did do some testing in my test world, so I definitely sort of know what direction I'm going in. So let's grab some glass anyway. Uh, we still should have plenty of sand, but anyway, let's let's just grab all the glass we can carry right now because that's all we've got. Oh uh, yeah, we got plenty of sand, so we can smelt some more down. I got some night vision potions and underwater breathing potions. Um, I won't build the entire little dome that I want to build on camera because you, you've guys watched me build a million domes already, and I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of it. So I'll just skip forward a little bit when the dome's complete, and we can pretty much continue. So, anyway, if you want to know how to build a dome, which I've repeated this many times, but we get new subscribers every day. So, you see this big round object here? You can easily build one yourself. These domes down here, you can easily do this yourself legitly without any editing programs. Nothing. You can do this legitly. There's a fantastic site called Plots. You just follow the guide there and eventually you get good, better and better and better and then you start to memorize some of the patterns and you can just build one off by heart and you don't need a site anymore but this site is the best best uh, best spot to start you know learning how to build circles and domes and all sorts of good great stuff like that so anyway um, I'll leave that in the link in the description below well in the description so yeah just um, you know go 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 get that if you if you want to learn how to build circles or whatever I uh, just thought I would repeat myself because I have repeated that uh, quite a lot but yeah, it's like one of the top messages like Dino how do you do this without world edits oh it's too hard no it's not no it is not all right anyway let's move on let's move on me ranting away okay so I was thinking in here somewhere or we can do it over here um, I'm not quite sure. So I don't, the best thing is to just to, to jump right in. So I got water breathing and I got two night vision. I've got one splash. I don't know why I accidentally did a splash one, but hey, let's um, let's do water breathing. Water breathing allows us to breathe underwater, as you can see right there. Too bad the beacon won't enable that. That would just be awesome. Uh, night vision. Drink that. Now. As you can see, see what night vision just did? It allows the water to be like see-through, you know, like a tropical area. So you can literally see through all the water. You know, you can see the underwater domes over here. You know, it looks all like a, a moon base sort of thing. And that, that's pretty much what that does. So, <laughs> um, oh, I just noticed something. We can't put it over there because look, look at the size of this drop. Let's go down here. Look at the size of this drop. Um, this is like, this is a bridge already going to shore. Um... We could put it, um, yeah, no, this, this, this is just too much of a drop. There's no build up. What's on the other side? If not this sign. Oh, this might be pretty decent. What have we got to work with? Okay. So, so yeah, by the looks of things, this is where I'm going to be starting. The problem is we need to build this up a little bit. Bloody gravel. Ah, I guess I'm going to have to farm some gravel, so I don't want to put dirt or cobblestone down. I want gravel because it sort of matches the sea floor. Over here is my stables. Okay, so we'll grab all this gravel as much as we uh, 
possible we can carry for now. Um, and just build up the other side a little bit. Because I've got the dome that I want to build. It's very small. Ooh, there's iron here. Hello. I'll come back for you soon. It's not a mining episode, so... Let's replace these water bottles. Okay, so we come over here. And what we want to do is build this out a little bit. Just, you know, build it out a little bit. Trade it. Just so we can get away from my main dome. Because we want we don't want my dome hitting each other. They want to be separate buildings all together. Not the same buildings. Separate. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to run out of bloody gravel. Can't believe this. I should have done this before the episode. <laughs> Grab gravel. Fantastic. Okay, that should be enough. That's like a, we made a nice flat area. Perfect. Give me my shovel. Oh, oh, the sun's going to be going down soon. Okay, so we grab our glass, and it's going to be a small dome, so we'll do a... One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Then again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, yep, that seems right. One. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. There we go. So this is how big the dome's going to be. It's not very big. It's not huge. That's the, the outline. I'll build the rest off camera in a second. I don't know whether to take it sideways into the dome here. So we just have like a sign saying, you know, this is the little baby dock area where we can, you know, shoot a boat off. and Or we could build a bridge here, which I don't have any stone right now. But let's have a look-see. We could just do this, like make it three wide so it matches. Bring it all the way back, like that. Oh. Wow. But, yeah, that's what I'm pretty much thinking of doing. So I have to get some uh, stone brick because I like the sides here to be stout of stone brick and I don't want to waste any more glass. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on building this dome. So what I'm going to do is build a dome. Round it off, and then there's going to be like a pipe coming up the right up the center here. So, you know, this is where the boat's going to come down. The launch is going to be on this side, so the boat will shoot off that side and be like a little submarine. Um, okay, so I'm going to go, I have to go grab some sand. Because if you, if you want a tip on building a dome or something under the water, may I suggest you every level you do, put a layer of sand in, and then build the next layer, and the next layer, because once you finish the dome, you just break in, and then just dig out the sand with a shovel of doom. You know, because sand breaks instantly with an efficiency 4, efficiency 5 um, a shovel. So, yeah, the sun's going down anyway. I can just sleep a little bit. Whoa! Far out. I'm still not used to this speed. It's just insane! Far out. Right. I will be back shortly, guys. Alrighty then. I am back. And the room, that I, the rough shape of the room that I want, is pretty much complete. So, as you can see, and I've cleaned it up a little. I know I'm you're really not to meant to clean it up, but my OCD was killing me. So I'm like, put wood floor in and clean it up a little bit. But the hole in the roof is for when the boats come in. And this is where the boats will go out. So... Anyway, we should be starting on the dock first, like the, the launch first. So the best thing for me to do is run around and try find my damn axe. Ah, I'm always forgetting stuff. But this super speed, come on. You know you love it. I love this damn super speed. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. It makes traveling around the base so much quicker. It doesn't even use that much food up, which is good. Okay, let's go find my damn axe. So just playing with wood and no lemon axe and I have everything. Yeah, there's an enchanted axe right there. Alright, diamond enchanted axe. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to need some buckets of water so we'll actually go up the top and get that now. While... And we need a boat to... Don't worry, I'll make a crafting table. It's all good. Is it... Too bad you can't climb ladders just as fast. That would just be awesome. Okay. Grab buckets. Take it slowly so we don't screw up the environment too much. There we go. Alright, I got all the buckets I need. Let's get off of here. Zip. 
All right. Okay. So let's do this this launcher first, and then we can the Docker can be installed. So I want to put an edge on it. Nice shiny edge here. Let me look up. Okay. So take it to there. This one here. Right here. So technically all the way. And then we do the same over here. Nope. One more back here. Oh man, I'm still not used to this damn speed, it just, ah, it's crazy. Okay, so, I should explain what I'm trying to do. So, we're going to have a pool of water here, and the water is going to run into a stream, which is going to sort of launch us out here, and then we're going to be like a submarine that floats to the top. That's the plan. <laughs> well, I've done testing, so I'm not too, too worried. I'm not too extremely worried. Um, it seemed to work... work okay but yeah okay so we dig this out as well oh man fix this up i think maybe we should use wood i have wood all good i have plenty of wood so fix this up so this is a very basic launcher you know no massive redstone or anything complex like later on down the track i plan to add like flashing lights and alarm system and and a boat dispenser but for now we're just trying to get this damn thing complete so at least we can use it before adding all the gizmos and gadgets that i wouldn't mind adding to this thing there we go nicely done so now we take our buckets of water and we're pretty much just gonna fill it in with water well, i should just take it back to here and then yeah, we just make this one giant water source that would be fantastic and then we break the wood behind it and oh, yep, here it goes there we go all right bucket stack didn't even need that many buckets but hey don't matter we break this to make it a stream all right that's looking good it's looking good Oh, now we get to play with the ocean again. Science. Oh, sign. There. So I all it just it's so easy to whoop hit escape while you're placing a sign down. So there we go. Okay, so one more on the bottom. Whoop! No, no, too much, too much. No, cobblestone. I don't want cobblestone. I want stone. Okay. Man, <laughs> this is driving me up the wall. I shouldn't have... I should have done this without any water. Okay, there we go. We got sort of a airlock sort of thing. The ocean's still staying up. We're using signs. That should be good to go. Very basic launcher. I was thinking about putting a flashing light there and there. So it just like ding dong, ding dong. And, like, later on, we can put some piston door in there for, uh, for shits and giggles, you know, because you don't really need a piston door in there, but an airlock, it just sounds cool, and alarm system, when you're, like, opening the airlock, that would just be awesome. So, yeah, bells and, whistle, bells and whistles will be cool. We can do that eventually. All right, crafting table. And we need a couple of boats, so let's just go crazy then. Oh my god, that's too many boats. I know, I know, I know how many we're going to be destroying. Okay, so, all right. So eventually we can have like a dispenser here that will dispense the boat in here. So there you go. So, um, what is it? Daytime? I think the sun's coming up. Whatever. Get in, and then you just go. Woohoo! Whoa, it's so dark, but I'm a submarine. Woohoo! And there you go. That is a very basic launcher right there. And that sun's going down. Doesn't that look beautiful? All right. It's getting dark. Yep, moon's coming up. Okay, do a U-turn. So, now we need to go down safely. Whoop, boom. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's get down off here. We can just jump now. Splash. Oh, that's easy. Uh, go sleep in the bed. Make it all... Doesn't she look beautiful? Okay, so... Go sleep in the bed, make it all daytime. Daytime. Okay. So, what we need to do now... What we need to do now is I need to think. 
Okay. Alright, so... Okay, so the next thing is... That's all done. The launch is done. Let's go upstairs. Oh, I've got another boat because I broke it. And I need to create some half slabs. Which is not a problem. That is oodles. Alright. Get on the launcher. Let's go up. Let's go up the top and talk. Alright. Here we go again. Well, don't don't hit the stables. I gotta learn to drive underwater. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna be doing that a bunch of times. Alright, slow down. Slow down. So for this part. Alright, let's get out. And the boat's gonna shoot away. No, it's not. Fantastic. Eat some chicken. Don't fall down. Okay, so obviously you can't run a boat into this. It's just you're just gonna break it. So the best thing to do is probably use half slabs all the way around instead of Oh no! Instead of glass here. So we can just sort of skip right over the top, which I'll show you in a second. Okay. So you can sort of just go plonk down there. See, it's so simple. It's just unbelievable. Very, very simple. Alright. Okay. There we go. Jump in our boat. Now we can pretty much just turn around. Turn around. Alright. Go in here. Whoop. But, oh, bugger. Okay, so that was the problem. That's the problem there that I was having originally issue, like the issue I was having in my test world. I was like, hmm, okay. So let's go back up there really quickly. Ah, with the trips up here, I'm enjoying this though. This is fun. Here we go again. I should, I should get a, uh, a night vision potion again because it would look way better if you could actually see because I guarantee no one could see this. It just looks awesome on my screen. So we just do a U-turn, we come to a stop. Okay. Oh, no, come back, no! Oh, fine. Okay, so there you go. So you just scoot right over the top. Yeah, no problem, right? So the problem is now you're just going to hit both the sides. Now, in my test world, I come up with a rough solution is to put pistons on both these sides, right, and make a dock. So you would skid over the top here and you would skid onto some half slabs. Now, the half slabs will not break the boat. So it would, you would come to a direct stop in the middle of this platform and then you would have a button and then the button would just, you know, retract and you would just fall down nice and safely putting you right in the middle of this thing. And yeah, alright. So that's pretty much what we're going to try and build next. Yeah, that's what we're going to get next. So I've got to go grab, what am I going to go? Sticky pistons, more stone brick, and that's it. Jump down. And yeah, so this should be pretty small and simple. Nothing extreme yet until we start adding complex redstone. Redstone and water do not mix, so... <laughs> I'll keep the stone. Signs can go. Glass can go. Slabs. Alright, I'll be right back in a sec, guys. I'm going to go pick up some sticky pistons and some resources, and then we're good to, good to continue. Alrighty then, I am back, and I have uh, went and gone and got some resources. So anyway, let's get to work. So... As I was saying, that we've got to push the half slabs, like, into the middle here. Like, we can leave a gap in the middle, but a boat cannot fit down a one wide gap. So, the plan is to push the, the half slabs into the middle, which you, you would scoot over it, and you would come to complete stop. It would pretty much stop you. You won't break the boat or anything, which is good. That's what we want. And then, we press a button, and it drops you down, nice and safely, not hit any walls. That is the plan. All right, okay, so anyway, let's get right into it. So the first thing uh, would be to build out a little like platform around like that. So we will, we won't half slab the, we won't sticky pistons these because these will be like, okay, so. So reason why I chose three wide is because it's it's a big gap. It's it's nice. You, you're not going to run into any trouble, whoops, or anything else. Like like if you made it too wide, you could make it too wide, but you'd have to be a really good driver, and I'm not extremely well driving. So yeah. All right. What the blooming crikey? There, that's better. Jeez, was that so hard? Now we've got to hide all these pistons because it looks butt ugly. Um, do the same here. 
Oh man, that sun's going down. I might have to go sleep in a sec. Uh, uh, don't want it to get dark so people cannot see what I'm doing. Actually, we better light this little platform up because you never know what nasties like to spawn up here. Okay. Fantastic. Let's get these pistons in and then we might go sleep. Sorry about the speed. Actually, I might turn it off because um, some of you guys will be like, slow down, Daddy. You're so hyperactive. It's not me. It's the damn... It's the speed. It's It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'm moving quicker, I'm going quicker, and everything else is crazy. So I apologize for that. I'm not hyperactive or anything. I'm not, not uh, doing it on purpose. I'm just, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy speed. Um, so what we'll do now is turn it on real quick. Just put a redstone torch down here. There we go. There we go. And then we'll go quickly sleep, because that sun is setting. There we go. So the boat cannot fit down there, which is fantastic, but we can. Woohoo! Okay, super speed! <laughs> Alrighty, let's um, go quickly sleep, then we can quickly get back up there. Alright, sorry about this. I thought I had a fresh day, but I didn't! It's all good, it's all good. So, um, upcoming projects, we have to start on this nether hub soon. It's not going to be so uh, such a crazy hub like the last hub, because remember, when I, when I first started this base, I said I was building all my new farms right around me. Look, mob farm's right there. You know, it should be like 20, 30 blocks in the nether, so you don't need minecarts. The only minecart we're going to need for that nether hub is the one back to the old base. So, I've got to come up with a nice, nethery, dark design for this new nether hub. It's got to look, it's got to look sexy. So, that's on the to-do list. Um, well, now, we just really we need to hide this, which is no problem. We just do that, I suppose. No problem hiding that. Okay, so... What we need to do now is hook in, hook in a button. This is like a dock. This is meant to be a dock. You come in this side or you come in that side. Remember, you the boat will not fit down there on the one gap. So don't you're probably screaming right now. It's like, Daddy, you're just going to fall down. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Okay, so what we'll do is create a like an arch. I don't know. Like an arch. I, don't, I, th I just don't know what to call it. Like that. Like over like that. So it's like a dock. We could do another one here. Or we might do it out of glowstone. I just thought that'd be cool. And then when you press the button, if we can have flashing lights up here, that would just be sweet. Okay, so I brought along a couple of buttons. And if we can get that in the middle there, that would be cool. Um, and I suppose we just pretty much do that. Run it up and over. We've got to hide this redstone later on. My bad. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. And then we put a torch over here. Okay. So now. Uh oh. What did I do here? Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. Fruit loop. There. Oh. There. Okay. That's better. And then run it up like that. That's the best way I could do it. And another redstone torch here. Connect it, get rid of that. Whoa, whoa. There we go. <laughs> alright, alright, that's fixed up, that's fixed up. Okay, so, you pull in, you press the button, you press the button, you press the, what's go, oh, I'm holding shift, whoops, my bad. You fruit loop data. Okay, so we still got a wee bit of a problem there. A wee bit of a problem. No, okay. Okay, so it's... Yeah. Alright. I'm just going to move this entire thing, I think. It might be easier just to move it over one. Then have the button there. Because it's keeping the bloody block powered, which is, is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. There we go. Get rid of that. Alright. That better be better this time. I'm wasting resources. It's just flying everywhere. Again, Fruit Loop data. Sorry. 
All right. Yay, that's better. That's heaps better. Just wanted to go over one. That's cool. So the block wouldn't be powered anymore. Uh, Torch here. There we go. Get rid of that block. And there. Okay, so now press the button. That is better. Far out. Okay, so the best thing we could do now is test it. We get a boat. Um, what we'll do, we'll do a full, no, no, we can't, we don't want to do a full lap yet. We'll do a full lap in a second. So we'll go do a, we'll do a test run. I'm scooting along, I'm doing a project over here, over here. I'm coming back on my, my boat. I'm going to go over to my dock. Do, 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 do. And I'm just lining her up. Pull right in. That is awesome. There we go, guys. Woohoo. Well, I'm going to have to fix that bit up. So, there we go. So, let's do a full lap. A full in and out. Okay. So, if we get a dispenser, we could probably dispense these boats. It would be a lot easier. One on that side or even, like, break this block and have the dispenser out there. And you, like, stand on the pressure plates and, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I have to do some more fiddling around. All right. So, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, I thought I might have had a, uh, a night vision potion, but I didn't. Damn it. Yeehaw. I don't know if I'm going to get bored of this. I like having a, a submarine. All right, let's, let's approach from this side this time. All right. Go in here and we just dock. That, is, that doesn't even look too bad. It's like a little baby piece of thing sticking out. Wow. See, the boat didn't break. It doesn't fit down the middle. All you do is just reach up, press the button. Oh, press the button. <laughs> Splash. And that's it. And we could just rinse and repeat that and do that many times as you want. There we go. I've got a very basic, simple docking system. Now, we could add all the gizmos and gadgets like flashing, alar flashing lights and alarm systems, which I plan to do that later on. We might do it in like a mini sode or when, when we've got nice, some, nothing to do, we can come back and play with this. But it's just, it just works, you know? There's, there's nothing wrong with this design. It's just, it's perfect. It's... Do it's doing what it's meant to be doing. It's, I don't know. I don't. Know. It's just, it's just cool. It's just simple. That's what I wanted. I didn't want anything complex. But yeah, I know the redstone junkies out there would be like, oh my god, you could do this, you could do that. Yeah, <laughs> you probably could. But hey, simple, 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 simple. Quite cool. I'm just doing one more, one more lap. I don't know. <laughs> I can sit here doing laps all day. It just feels cool having like a docking system now. <laughs> You know, it's just awesome. You know, it drops you right down and everything. So, can I punch you? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that up. You know, getting out the boat is... That's a, that's a bug in the system. So, maybe if we could, like... Maybe we could have dispensers all under here. And it drains all these water sources, you know. Drains all the water. When you land, like, there's a, there'll be a trip hook here. And it drains all the water sources. And then, like, you get in the boat when you want to take off. And you press a button on the side. And all the water sources place back and then you launch yourself maybe that would be a better idea uh, i'm not sure i'll have to have a look into that later anyway guys i think we're going to call it now we've got a basic dock installed now for the for the base which is fantastic i can start cleaning up my mess now it seems like i put a chest and crafting table down everywhere that i seem to be building stuff <laughs> I'm going to go put all these back into the item sorter and, yeah, let it all drain out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 112 and join me for episode 100, 113. Man, we're, we're going up really quickly. It's it's cool. It's cool. Um, yeah, join me for 113. I'm thinking we might, not 100% sure yet, we might get started on that nether hub next. Um, that might be a, yeah, thing to do. Ah, damn it. I can't sleep. It's going to start lagging. All right, I'm going to throw these things in. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you all later. Click to the left to view the previous episode and on the right for the next video if it is available. If you like this video, please like, share, and add this video to your favorites. 
Follow Daedalus822 on the social media formats listed below and be sure to hit that subscribe button.